So I'm back, my friends. We had some technical issues. And uh, once again, this is Deepak Chopra on the Chopra app. And uh, we're waiting for Alicia to join us. Alicia Keys. If you're here, send a request. And we will be with you instantly. There, okay. There she is. Yeah, there she is. Okay. Alicia. Alicia. Waiting for Alicia. Yay! Yay! How are you? <laughs> I was going on and on and on. I was trying and trying and trying. I was yeah, answering but you. Know, you. You're playing hide and seek. That's what you're doing. I was. I wanted to make it a little game, a little mysterious, right. like a little... A little fun times. How are you today? I'm good. The divine hides herself in order to seek herself. Well, that's what happened. <laughs> somebody that's was what hiding happens. and somebody so, was seeking. <laughs> yes. So today's a big day for you. Tell us what's happening. Oh, no. Today's just one. Of, it's just a great day because I get to speak to you. The legendary, oh. most magnificent, you know, and and obviously we um, have just been connecting on a lot of different levels. And I've been a super follower and fan of yours for so long since I was a little girl. And, you know, you know, some people do know that you even married my husband and I. So we have a deep, deep connection for many, many years. And and so the, today is just amazing because it's all about us connecting. I'm, I'm blessed. Yeah, I know. And we have a project coming up and uh, 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 we'll share it with the world when when it's, uh, we're close. When we're ready. Time. Yeah, when we're ready. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing wonderfully. I'm doing good. You know, it's, it's definitely a hectic time in the world and there's a lot happening all around us. But I am very, very focused on choosing positivity and, and just giving forth inspiration, giving forth good energy. You know, we got enough of the other stuff, so we don't need any more of that. So I'm doing well. How are you doing? So, you know, before you came on, I was sharing with everyone that despite all the panic, which is uh, justified around COVID-19, the people should know that only 5% of uh, genetic mutations guarantee disease. And so even with infections like this, we can do a lot to mitigate the morbidity, the inflammation, and the mortality, both in older people and younger people. Mm. And before you came on, I was talking about the seven pillars of well-being, um, which included the sleep, meditation, and stress management, mind-body coordination, deep breathing, emotional resilience, relationships, balancing our circadian rhythms, biological rhythms, but most importantly, ultimately, to get over the fear of uh, people are having the fear of right now of they're questioning their existence. Mm. And, you know, what happens is when that is the most primal fear that humans have, the fear of death. Mm. And the, there's only one solution to the fear of death. And that is to get in touch with that part of you, which is beyond death, which is beyond birth and death, which is timeless, which mm. is not bound by space, time and causality. And that, of course, the traditional understanding is our own spirit, our own consciousness, our own awareness. And the monad of that universal awareness is what we call the soul. So unless we resurrect our soul at a deep level, everything else we do is superficial. And that's why I'm excited about our collaboration as we move forward into um, the deeper understanding of um, the divine in all its forms, um, you know, masculine yeah. and feminine. Yes, absolutely. Me too. And, and just filling yourself up and, and, and allowing you to, you know, seek out the, what I feel is seek out the things that really lift you up, you know, cause a lot of us are also surrounded by a lot of toxic energy a lot of negative people, a lot of negative thoughts, and a lot of negativity, period. And it is hard to figure out how to deal with it, figure out how to um, get yourself to a place where you feel that you, you can release those things. So for me, it's even about what you're, what's around you or what even what you're filling your head with, you know, what you're watching 
what you're what you're listening to you know even you know our devices and our phones they're they're incredible but they're also sometimes so detrimental so yeah just being able to think about what's good for you and being hopefully brave enough to um choose that you know even when it's a difficult choice to make a lot of times it's our own families that sometimes we have to make the choices for um you know to to find to find better energy around us so i feel you and how about you how do you um i, I heard when things were going wrong when going going a little tricky for us to connect you were like this is just the divine wisdom saying that you know it's going to happen as it's supposed to happen <laughs> what happens when you get ruffled when your feathers get ruffled or when you are disappointed or when you're even upset do you even get upset not anymore but yeah uh, i used to get upset but um, it took me a long time to learn that the essence of our existence is that it's unpredictable and what this um, this pandemic showed us is that we took existence for granted uh, when in fact we should be grateful and surprised that we exist you know my one of my favorite poets uh, is a indian sage by the name of tagore and he said that we exist is a perpetual surprise and if you're mm. not surprised by your existence then your humanity is incomplete that was one thing that i remembered and the other thing i remembered also growing up from my mother was that if everything was predictable there would be no creativity so at mm. an early age she taught me my mother to pray every day for unpredictability and so i would start my day saying i hope today is more unpredictable than yesterday that is an opportunity for creativity because if everything is predictable there's no creativity you're like an algorithm you might as well be uh, a biological robot with an algorithm so wow. unpredictability gives us the choice right now to ask ourselves what can we do to reinvent our bodies to feel love and compassion and joy to help others to find a higher calling to find transcendence to get in touch with our soul mm. so uh, for me this was a very interesting uh, time and i'm still here uh, actually i'm i'm looking out of the window i can see where you live by the way we should get together with awesome. mask and social yes. distancing we should get together sometime That sounds amazing. Absolutely. I I'd love that. And I, it's just it's wonderful to hear your perspective, wonderful to hear your thoughts. I I would have never, you know, I don't think many of us think about, you know, praying for unpredictability, you know. I think that a lot of us are hoping for things to be quite predictable or at least stable, you know. I I know that a lot are looking for some stability or something to depend on, you know. But um I think that this idea of welcoming that which is unpredictable, knowing that things are going to be unpredictable in fact, praying for it so that you know that you I guess maybe that has to do with having faith in yourself and also knowing that you're going to know what to do with that, which I think a lot of us don't trust ourselves. We don't really think that we have the tools to handle the unknown you know and and so to what i take from that from what you said is like praying for unpredictability is that we actually have more capacity than we know we do and we have more of the answers inside of us than we think we do and and so that's what that brought for me just this this faith in yourself and this trust in yourself and and so therefore whatever comes you know you know you're good because you're going to work through it and figure it out. So right now with your comments you help me a little bit to rephrase what I said. Instead of praying for unpredictability which sounds kind of drastic. Okay. Uh, why not pray for creative opportunities? Okay. In the in the face of unpredictability is the opportunity for creativity. And here's the secret by the way. So we both since we both meditate when yeah. we meditate we automatically let go of our habitual certainties you know and and there is in meditation there's the proliferation of uncertainty of ambiguity of paradox of contradiction of uh, of uh, basically not knowing and that's a very good state to be because it takes not knowing to access creativity it takes the proliferation of uncertainty to see unlikely connections what we call synchronicity so over the years you know when i met people who are amazingly successful including people like yourself 
they always tell me, I say, I say, so, you know, you have a great talent, but so many other people have talent. You know, you, you have a great expression, artistic expression, but so many other people have. And, you know, you're a great scientist, but, you know, you didn't get the Nobel Prize. Somebody else got it. And they're not even as good as you. And, you know, the answer I get is I was lucky. Or sometimes mm -hmm. they say I happen to be in the right place at the right time. Or they say there were too many synchronicities or too many meaningful coincidences. If they're religious, they say God was on my side. And uh, of their spiritual, they say it was a state of grace. Now, they're mm -hmm. all saying the same thing, actually. What they're saying is that the unpredictable gave me an opportunity for good luck. And good luck is nothing other than opportunity may meeting preparedness. Opportunities right. are there all the time, but preparedness comes from going into that place of not knowing. See, this is deep. This is deep because I think, you know, this is so cool, um, Deepak, because we can, we're, we can both say the same thing from different angles. And I love this so much. We definitely have to keep doing this for sure. But th this is so deep because you, we, all of us have opportunities every day. Every day coming forth to us is a chance, is an opportunity, is, is the unknown, is this potential, this, this thing. And, and to your point, you know, being ready for that opportunity, being prepared for that opportunity, which sometimes takes quite a long time, you know, and quite a lot of, you know, quote unquote challenges, quote unquote failures, whatever you want to call them, which I don't believe in those words because, you know, there is no such thing as failing. You're only learning, you're only growing, you're only becoming more close to who you actually are. And, and, and I love this, I love this idea though, that when you are prepared, when the time is right for you to be prepared for all those years that you put into, and that's why this, even this idea of 10,000 hours or the time that we're putting into what it is that we love or a, a skill or, you know, that's why learning is so important, you know, because you have to learn, you have to take, here I am. And when you do that, when the opportunity comes your way, boom, you're ready for it. And, and so an opportunity became, you know, the chance that you were ready for. So I love what you're saying and, and a reminder that this idea of, you know, luck or good fortune or whatever is really up to you. You know, it's up to how much you put in, how much time you put in, how much you, 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 you work at yourself and, and continue to grow and be curious and learn. And, and, and that's just, you know, that's never ending. So it's beautiful. That's, that's a really hopeful thought. I love it. Yeah. Well, thanks, Alicia. You can see from the, uh, all the people who are uh, sending messages how much love they have for you and Thank how you. thrilled they are that and you. Uh, we are having this conversation. And uh, when we're ready, we'll announce our project, which is going to be fun. That's right. And, you know, Deepak also joined me at my Soul Care Lounge, which is happening um, on Wednesday. You're joining me. We're so excited that you're going to be there and, and speaking more towards good energy and feeding yourself with the information that you need that lifts you up. That's definitely going to happen there. So everybody I'm looking have... forward to the Soul Care Lounge. It's going to be so good. So at Key Soul Care, so you can get more information and join us. And I also, just before we go, Deepak, I just want to say the world is definitely on fire in a lot of ways. Um, but, you know, I read this little, this book to my son that I'm actually probably going to read to y'all because it was so powerful. And it was like, what do you do with a problem? And that every, and basically it said that every problem is an opportunity to find the lesson in it and what you're supposed to bring to it and how you can grow out of it. And, and so as we approach the election and a lot, of, a lot of places are definitely open for early voting, you know, just encouraging everybody to, to use your voice, to be in your power because, you know, don't let us be silenced. Even I see on this chat, there's a lot of talk about the situation happening in Nigeria. I know that there's yeah. a lot of things that are going on that are feeling so difficult and, and there's a lot of things that do need to be changed. So continue to just be forward and use your voice and learn and grow and vote and if, learn more about what's happening in Nigeria so you can participate in, in the change there. Learn more of what's happening here in America so you can participate in, in being part of the change here. Let's continue to support each other and love each other and know that we are powerful 
collectively, we're more powerful than ever. We have what we need inside of us. So don't be shy of your greatness. You know, don't be shy of your voice. It is very powerful. And, and we love you. So keep going and keep being strong and, and keep going. That's it. Alicia, that's a beautiful message. And I'm your ally. And, Thank uh, you. And I'm let's, yours. Let's, let's uh, go ahead now with this idea of being the change we want to see in the world. And let's make the world our family because the world is our family. Oh, my gosh. We love each other. Um, thank you for this time. Thank you for your wisdom, your knowledge. Can't wait to tell the world what we're up to together. Definitely join us at Keys Soul Care on Wednesday. And, you know, just, just keep showing up. We love y'all. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Alicia. Thanks, everyone. Bye, brother. Talk Take to you care. later. Love you. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.